A younger patient arrived at the hospital. The nurse led him to a VIP room after he filled out some forms. A stack of 1,000 sheets of paper was placed on the table, and the nurse immediately asked the young man what kind of video he liked to watch. Although the young man seemed to be very skilled, he ended up handing in a blank sheet after struggling for a long time. Seeing his awkward expression, the nurse asked him to lie down on the bed and wait for a doctor to help him with a manual sample later. However, he had no idea that a female doctor would walk in so confidently. Just as the young man was in disbelief, the doctor behind him was already poised to strike and took him by surprise. After the examination, the young man's body trembled, not knowing what to do, fearing that he might upset the doctor and get into trouble. However, when he stood up to leave, he realized that the female doctor who had performed the procedure was actually his first love. Feeling shocked, the young man quickly pulled up his pants and ran away. The woman was also bewildered. She had never felt so embarrassed even when treating her father. If this got out, it would be a joke. So the next day, she went to an address on the form and hoped to explain things to her ex-boyfriend face to face. However, when she arrived at a corner of the community, she found her ex-boyfriend sitting on the ground, desperately trying to bind his chest. Seeing this scene, the woman was completely devastated. She couldn't believe her first love turned out to be such a coward. Later, when she entered the room, she was even more surprised to find that it was full of pink items. Even the air was filled with the scent of women, and the pajamas were all pink. It was a scene of Ian taking over Yang. In order to help him regain his virility, Maggie warned him not to wear tight jeans, as it could affect the airflow around the part she threw away all the rice wine in the refrigerator because it was essential for the recovery process. Even his movies had to be checked one by one because she felt that the content lacked practicality. She suggested that he watch more European and American series. Later, the two went to the swimming pool to learn how to swim, which could promote blood circulation in the lower body. In addition, to help her ex-boyfriend regain his virility, the woman put the vibrator under the massage chair. Later, they went to a massage parlor and invited the most beautiful technician to give him a partial massage. However, when he turned around, he found that the technician was actually his ex-girlfriend. Faced with this awkward and embarrassing situation, the young man felt uneasy. A few years ago, they were once a passionate couple, but unfortunately, his girlfriend dumped him because she thought he was poor and even complained about his leg shaking during exercise. She was even dissatisfied with his part and compared him to the smallest spade a in a deck of cards. The young man was deeply hurt, and since then, he had developed a habit of lifting his blanket as soon as he woke up every morning, which he had done every day for the past 365 days, but he never expected to meet her again in such a situation. Two years later, to help her ex regain his dignity, Maggie spoke confidently in front of his ex-girlfriend, saying that she was there for a massage because her boyfriend never let her sleep and had been keeping her up for a week. His ex-girlfriend blushed and wanted to find a hole to crawl into, but they were oblivious to the fact that it was all Maggie's deliberate arrangement. Maggie thought this would help James regain his confidence and give him a chance to vent his anger, but James was very unhappy with her actions. James warned Maggie not to treat others as tools for treatment, even if they had broken up, they should still leave room for each other. Later, Maggie thought about James's words repeatedly and felt that he had come back to life. 